to get that first win against this team and in that fashion, can you just talk about what that means to this team? Yeah, I think it means a lot because our guys have obviously gone through a rough season. Uh, the last time we won was February 1st against Washington here. And that was the last game of the first time through leagues. So was, our, I think, our ninth game. Got us to 2-7, and seven, which we weren't excited about. And then to, to lose, you know, eight more in a row, and now the, the Bruins come in, who obviously have a story program, and they're second in the league, and just as good as anybody else in our league, and they'll show it here in the next few weeks. They, they, have, a great, they have a great team. But uh, it's exciting because our guys just, they've hung together, hung together, hung together, persevered through some tough times, and I think they're learning some valuable lessons along with getting a win tonight. Do you think it adds to that that it didn't come because Devontae had a great game? It was because the rest of the team stepped up? Yeah, I mean, everybody in our program would love to see Devontae have a great game every night. Uh, he's such a great kid, works hard, and super attitude. But it is nice to, uh, to know that some other guys stepped up when Devontae wasn't having his greatest game. And part of that was due to UCLA's good defense on him. But uh, other kids stepped up. Two of them were freshmen. You know, Q Johnson hit some big shots. Uh, Ike Rabu, I thought, had maybe his best overall game, even though he was really, really good against Gonzaga. But uh, tonight, he was he was really good. The last time you guys played UCLA, you beat them here as well. Do you think that gave this team the confidence they needed to get over the hump? I don't. I definitely don't think it hurt. You know, to to know that hey, last year we weren't playing great, and the Bruins came in here and we were able to knock them off on senior night. Let's, let's go out and do it again. And uh, we didn't start out start out very well. They kind of had their way with us early on, but uh, again, our guys hung in there, uh, stuck together, and did a nice job that last 15 minutes of the first half. Is it almost more impressive not to make that run and take the lead, but then to s sustain a lead like that throughout the second half? Yeah, it's hard to do that. You know, we've, we've, we talked about that at halftime. We were up at Oregon 31-24, and they came out and, shoot, it's our ball at halftime. We throw the ball in bounds, and they score within three seconds. We come down, we turn it over, they go down, I think get an and one in transition. And you just can't uh, think to, you've got a great chance to win if, you, if uh, you come out the second half that way. But tonight I thought we came out the second half. <clears throat> we were, I think, physically and mentally prepared for uh, what UCLA might throw at us, and our kids handled it pretty well. And they got up to a 9-0 start. Obviously, you talked about the start. You called it a timeout immediately. What was, and, and it seemed things changed right after that timeout, and you guys started to roll. We just talked about, let's just calm down. It's a 40-minute it's a game. We've had a bad first two minutes. But let's just calm down and let the game come to us, and uh, we'll be fine. And then, fortunately, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> What was working so well on defense to hold the Ware Twins to just six points, to hold Levine scoreless? I think some of those kids just, they, they did not play up to par, really. Uh, mm -hmm. That's not to take anything away from our guys. Our guys knew the scout, but it, whether, it's, whether it's the Ware Twins or Zach Levine or Anderson or Powell or Adams, I mean, they're just loaded. Alford, they are loaded with great talent. Um, so, yeah, naturally a couple of them did not have a, a real good game. So I, I thought our guys did a good job on the defensive end to hold them to, to 55. But not only did you outplay them, you out-hustled them, and it was pretty obvious to everyone in the arena. How proud are you of the fact that your team really obviously wanted it more than they did? Well, I'm really proud that our, our guys wanted it. You know, again, it's hard to continue to keep coming back to practice every day and you're coming back and play a game, you're excited, let's go for it and lose. Come back the next day, practice, practice. Game, lose, practice. I mean, that's hard. And uh, for our guys to to overcome that well, on this night, play a really, really good team and get it done by playing as hard as they can was, uh, was nice to see. Thanks, Coach. Is there anything that could give you a, a better boost heading into the Pac-12 tournament than this type of win over this type of team? Probably not. Uh, a fun night. It's a nice feeling, I think, for the seniors to leave Beasley uh, on a good note, knowing that uh, the crowd was behind them and supporting them. And it's, uh, it's a nice way to head down to the tournament. How did it feel to see Will get that last basket? That was awesome. Really, really proud of, uh, of Devontae to create that. 
I mean, you could just tell he tried to make that happen. And here's a guy that's one of the leading scorers in the league, I'm just 20 a night or whatever it is. And, you know, what was he doing? He was trying to get the ball to Will Diorio. And I think that shows a lot of character on his part. And you have 